here we are going to see about dna replication so from this dna rna was formed and that process is called transcription so dna to rna that is transcription and rna to protein that process is called translation so rna to protein is called the translation and this dna can also form its exact copies of its own structure that is dna will produce dna and that process is called replication dna producing its own copies is called replication here we are going to see about dna replication process so we know that this dna they are double stranded so these are the double stranded dna this is the double stranded dna first we can see what are the enzymes which involve in this dna replication process so there are five enzymes which are involved here they are the helicase enzyme topoisomerase primase dna polymerase and the last one is the dna ligase enzyme so helicase topoisomerase primase dna polymerase and dna ligase these are the five enzymes which involved here and this is the dna double strand dna and the place where the replication is going to start in this dna that site is called as the origin of replication that site is the origin of replication so what is the first enzyme first enzyme is helicase so this helicase enzyme will come and bind at this origin of replication site so at this site this helicase enzyme will bind and its role is it will separate these strands it will open these two double stranded dna so the dna will form like this that is the double stranded dna will separate and it will form the replication fork so this area is the replication fork replication fork and the function of this helicase can be compared with that of the sip working of sip so you can take this sip in this sip this area was compared with that of the dna double strand double strand dna this is the dna double strand and here this point we can take this as the origin of replication and this helicase enzyme will bind at this origin of replication right so this one we can take the part this part as the helicase enzyme so when this helicase enzyme move along with this double strand dna this double strand dna will starts to open so when this part move along with this zip the zip is opening right so like this only the helicase enzyme will roll helicase enzyme's role is also like this so now the zip was opened and this part is called the helicase enzyme and this is the parent dna and this is the two separated dna strand and what is the next enzyme next enzyme is topo isomerase so this topo isomerase will separate the dna away from this replication fork so this is the replication fork we saw that and this topo isomerase will separate this dna away from the replication fork so this dna will form like this right and it also what it will do is it will remove the twist we know that the dna was spirally coiled structure right so when this spirally coiled double stranded dna separate into single strand dna there it will form a twist and that twist was removed by this topo isomerase enzyme so the function of this topo isomerase enzyme is it is separating the uh, separating the uh, dna strand away from the replication fork and also it is removing the twist which was formed during unwinding of this dna and the next enzyme next enzyme is primase so what this primers enzyme will do this primers enzyme will synthesize the rna primer so here this is the primers enzyme and it will produce the rna primer rna primer means short segment of rna molecule so the dna was double stranded we know that and the rna molecules are single stranded 
the RNA was single stranded and in this RNA the small piece of RNA small segment of RNA is called the RNA primer RNA primer and this primase enzyme will synthesize the RNA primer and this RNA primer will go and bind at this place of these two strands so here it will bind here and in this strand it will bind at this place and from this new strands will starts to form so for that the next enzyme what is the next enzyme that is the fourth enzyme is the dna polymerase so this enzyme will add nucleotide so what are the nucleotides nucleotides consists of nitrogenous base a sugar molecule and the phosphate group so these all will go and bind with the primer and also to the parent dna so this parent dna will act as the template dna where the new nucleotides will go and bind so here this primer will uh, it will bind to this primer and also to the nucleotide to form the new complementary strand so here if there is a means the here t will go and bind and if there is g means c will go and bind and if there is t means a will bind and if there is c means g will bind like that here one complementary strand will form and from here another complementary strand will form thus two complementary strands are formed in these two strands one strand was continuous one strand was formed continuously and the another strand was discontinuous that is there it was formed as segments of dna and this continuous strand was called as the leading strand continuous strand is called the leading strand and the discontinuous strands are called the lagging strands right lagging strand here the pieces of dna are formed and these pieces we can call these pieces as the okasagi fragments okasagi fragments and what is the last enzyme the last enzyme is the dna ligase now this enzyme is coming here so this enzyme will join these gaps these continuous discontinuous uh, segments was joined by this dna ligase enzyme so now this was also joined thus two complementary strands are formed these are called as complementary strand because this strand was formed from this parent dna strand or the template dna strand thus two dna was formed so from one dna two dna was formed so when these two strands so here is one strand here is one strand when if these two strands join uh, if these two strands meet at a point there the replication will stop so here also like this when two strands get join or when they two meet there the replication will stop and this stopping point or the finishing point is called the terminus and the uh, st starting point is called the origin of replication and the finishing point is called the terminus so this is the replication process so what are the enzymes which involved here they are the uh, helicase topoisomerase primase dna polymerase and dna ligase the function of the helicase enzyme is it will separate the two strands and the topoisomerate it will also separate the dna strand away from the replication fork and also it will remove the twist and the function of the primase enzyme is it will synthesize rna primer and the dna polymerase will add the nucleotides and the dna ligase will join the okasagi fragments this is about the replication and also about the enzymes and we can see the significance of dna or to the uses of uh, importance of this dna so we know that the dna is a hereditary material so it will transfer the information from one generation to the next information this is the main important function and also in the beginning of this video we saw that uh, this uh, rna was formed from dna and the proteins are formed from the rna so the for the formation of this protein it received some information and that information was received from the dna through the rna so here also it plays an important for the formation of uh, 
proteins and the next is the it controls the developmental process and life activities of the organism so if we take the human our life start from the single egg so one egg will fuse with one sperm and uh, there the embryo will form and that embryo will develop and it will grow and then now the adults are formed from only the one single egg thus it involves in developmental process so these are all about the dna replication and dna